Are you kidding me? I had like four monsters left to kill for this layer task and I got a superior monster and I was like, Sh should I record this? Because I wasn't recording anything. It's like, Sh uh, yeah, I should probably turn this on. Not like I'm going to get anything, but just in case I kill this thing. I didn't even check the chat, but I, I see something weird on, on the ground. I, I just got an imbued heart I, from, from Cave Horror. That I I think the drop rate is like one in eight hundred or something. It's it's a pretty low chance because it's not a high level monster. And I got it. That's why I was not expecting. If I was killing like Darby's or something, that that's where it's like higher chance to get one. It is so weird because currently I'm preparing to kill Zalra. If you watch my previous videos for the past one week or so, all I'm doing is trying to complete as many tasks as I can for Western Provinces Elite Diary. And it's, it's all for Zalra. And I get imbued heart. That's like one of the best items at Zalra. You can boost your magic levels. And because Trident skills on your magic level, you can deal more damage and be more accurate. Oh, by the way, for those who don't know, or maybe you didn't read the chat, it's 37 million. It's a very valuable item. It's still more than AGS. Like for those people who don't play RuneScape, it's more than AGS at the moment. And if you activate it, your magic level would, will go by 10 that is so much it's from 95 to 105 and it's not consumable so you can use this over and over but i think it's every seven minutes or so oh this took me way too long this took me probably 10 hours or so from 72 to level 80 thieving but finally it's over for some reason i really prefer to train agility over thieving i am no i have no idea why like i was watching movies all i had to do is just click click on the night like this you know it, it's it's fairly AFK, you literally have to do click on, on one spot, that's it. But for some reason, I hate it. So maybe for the past one week or so, I've been trying to unlock my second life at Zalra. And to do that, I need to complete Western Provinces Diaries Elite. So I still have quite a few things to go. And that's why I needed to get to level 80 Thieving and level 80 Agility. Because I need to pickpocket an elf and I need to use the Elven Overpass. And I still have quite a few other things to go. But it's taking so long. Like, all I remembered for the past one week is just training Slayer. All, all, oh, I just realized I boosted 93 Slayer, but you can't kill Thermonuclear Smoke Devil, I don't think. You see, the reason why I thought it's going to go faster is because I had Cannonballs, and I only needed three Slayer levels from level 90 to 93. But turns out that is 1.5 million experience, and those Cannonballs did not last. I think 50,000 lasted maybe for like 800k Slayer experience. So I had to make more. Even at this time, I don't have enough cannibals. I'll have to go ahead and make more. I have all the steel bars though, but yeah, th this really, really, really takes... Even though I play all day, it just takes too long to level up everything. Oh, that, that was pretty close. Of course, I'm killing these Begemoth Nats because they always give the four those spices. I, I don't see the reason to kill. Actually, it may be more efficient to kill smaller ones if in the end you're gonna need all kinds of spices anyway for like diaries and stuff. Look at this guy. How do you think he got that amulet of fury? Level 69. Yeah, I mean, he's just doing quests at least. Yeah, he, he wants to get rid of that bracelet. That's a regen bracelet as well. That's like 3 mil plus fury plus w whatever he has in the bank as well. That is quite a rich guy and it just got 85 thieving. Let's teleport. What do you do now? What if I get knocked out? Like, which one's to pickpocket? What do I... No, no, no. I don't, oh, there we go. That That's the elf that I need to pick. No, please don't fail. There we go. The elite task has been completed. And now all we need is to get, well, for now, for now. Yeah, because we, we're only doing these two for now. This is so weird because I have no idea what the shortcut is for agility. I tried looking up on Google. I tried looking up on YouTube. Like, look, I typed in Western Provinces Elite Achievement Diary. There is no elite. It's just hard and easy and medium. Nobody has elite video. I looked up on Google and people uh, people say just do the overpass. Where is the overpass? Is, is this the one? There's like no agility shortcuts in here. There's no There's one at Zalra. Obviously, it's not the one. One. It has to be this one or this one. But 85 agility for these, they, they save like almost no time. I, wait, this is the shortcut. Are you serious? Wow, that saves so much time. Oh my god. Like, th this requires 85 agility. I think this one that I first passed, this one literally requires like, what is it, like 65 agility and it provides like better benefits than this one. This is so outdated. Oh my god. It's gonna take five seconds longer. Better get 85 agility for this one. 
Okay, so the first inventory did not work because I forgot super restores and I got down to like 75 and you know, need to drink it now. I don't have any super restores, so I'm drinking the precious Sanfu serums. I know people are cringing at this, especially Iron Man, because those are quite valuable, but I use them at Slayer whenever I don't have any more prayer points left. Okay, so we got three things left. This is 93 Slayer. I only need one level for that, or 580k Slayer experience, which is probably gonna take me like two days, because I, I will have cannonballs made today. Then I need 70 farming, which means I need to get two more levels. That's gonna be quite easy with the tight farm, and then I need to kill 1,000 chompy birds uh, i think i have like 400 already and it's gonna be very easy it's gonna take like three hours or so to finish this one off right so here i am maybe after seven hours or so i train my slayer a little bit i think i gained like 120k experience still a lot to go as you can see and i don't have that many cannonballs left i think i have like 10k yeah, and that's gonna be only lasting for like 270k experience. That means I, I will go 200k experience without cannonballs, and that is gonna just take a long time to level up. Even if I make cannonballs, like the whole process is gonna take a long time. But something that I totally forgot, since I got to level 80 agility, I have collected a lot of Marks of Grace. This is gonna be so many stamina potions made. But before I do that, I need to make some super energy potions because I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm gonna be using all of these up. So I need to make more. I have 400 Avento. Yeah, that's gonna be some sweet hair blood experience. I think I'm actually, yeah, I'm very, very close to 74. Maybe even gonna get to 75. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset this timer. I wanna see how long it's gonna take me to collect 450 or something mushrooms from this place. It's gonna be quite quick because I have completed Mauritania Heart Diaries, well, long time ago. And whenever I pick one fungus, it's gonna pick two of them instead. So if I'm gonna be lucky now, I can just pick two here and two here. So it's gonna be like... It's probably some kind of optimal place where you can see three logs at the same time. I'm just... Well, I'm not saying I'm wasting time by just doing two logs, but probably, yeah, some, some I, I should like observe bots doing this or something. I think I was slacking a little bit, but here we have it at 23 minutes, and just in case you're wondering how much all of it it's worth, it should be a decent amount. Oh, I thought they were 1k each. Okay, that would be too much money, I guess, but uh, that is 272k, approximately, it's like 650k an hour if you collect these. But I was using a quest cape, which takes me there much faster. Well, I guess it is now time to make these potions, so I'll be back once I use all of these Aventos. All right, that was the last inventory of super energies. I have a lot of them. I don't think I will be able to convert all of them into stamina potions, but what I want to do first before I go and buy those things that you make stamina potions with, I want to make my graceful green, because this is boring. Everyone has this regular graceful, you know, I, I want to I wanna spice it up a little bit. I'm not even sure if that was a good idea because the total, it, it cost me 90 marks of grace and I could have used them on stamina potions, but instead I went for fashion scape and hey, that's my favorite. That's my favorite color. That looks like dragon dagger for some reason. Hey, I like it. Good color. Oh, you want to know something? I can't even make these potions. I thought because I had them in my bank, I thought, oh yeah, obviously I can make, since then I probably leveled up my hair blood and I'm high enough to make them. No, I'm actually three levels away from making that. So even if I eat a botanical pie, I need to eat it like every two minutes. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna level up my hair blood because I have a lot of herbs in the bank and I just need one level. I don't think I can get two levels, maybe, but Probably not. So I'm just gonna like uh, get some quadrums. I have a lot of lymphoid roots, you know, something that I have secondary ingredients. I don't want to be collecting red spider eggs to make these uh, snapdragon potions. And I've done it. This was my last pie. Currently, I am at 78 herblor. So one more minute and I would have just... Uh, I, I think I have some leftover super energy. I have like 37. So this was very, very close. Like I got like a decent amount. Like I got... Uh, look at the experience an hour though. And I gained 71k herblor experience by just making stamina potions. I totally forgot. Like because when I was getting Avento, I, I thought, oh, I will be getting like 50k. But I totally forgot that once you add these, you also get... But look at these stamina potions, 750. This is going to last me for ages. I can't wait until I can start soloing Saradomin. This is what I really gonna put them into some good use. I would say soloing Sarah may come in maybe two weeks. All I need to do is get to 77 Herblord, start making some Sarah brews, and get some other supplies like Serpentine Helmets, something that you 
kind of need if you're soloing Sarah. Very good to venom those minions. But my friend told me if you plant watermelons, you're gonna get over 10,000 farming experience per one run. And that seems like a lot. That means if I do like seven more, I could get to 70 farming. So let's see if it's true. It seems to be looking very good because I think I needed 17k until my next farming level. And as you can see, the circle is almost full. So let's see how much I gain. By the way, only one patch died, one watermelon. Uh, everything else was fine. And I gained in total 13,000. Why I didn't farm this previously? I had all of these watermelons from Kraken Boss and I, I didn't do anything with them. Just stayed in the bank for no reason. Every time I did a herb run, I could have just planted them. That's what I'm going to do from now on. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in two days. Bye.